We're interested in understanding how drought affects trees because globally we've witnessed uh, an increase, a steady increase in forest mortality in the last four decades. And we don't know exactly why that is, but we do know temperature has been going up at the same time. And droughts in some places have become much more significant. This is a, a, a big issue because if the pattern continues, we expect to lose many, much more of our forests. Then we're no longer, those forests are no longer absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere. So it's like a thermostat gone bad. The warmer it gets, the more forests we lose. The forests then are not taking up CO2, so the warmer it gets. So it feeds back on itself. This is the threat that we're concerned about, and which is why we're studying how forests die. We need to understand how they die so that we can predict what will happen in the future. The, the way drought structures work is they capture precipitation, rain or snow, and remove it from the forest. So in our particular studies, we remove approximately half of all the snow and all the rain that falls on the ground every day of the year for many years in a row. So basically this mimics a dry period for those trees because they have less moisture getting into the soil. So we use drought structures in this current study to test our models. In our drought experiment, we were able to kill trees through drought. And then we tested six different models' ability to capture that or to simulate that mortality. Once we were confident in the model's accuracy, we then pushed the models forward into the future using climate forecast to predict what do we expect the future of the forest in southwestern USA to look like. What we found was that by 2050, give or take multiple decades, there should be no forest in the southwest. There's reasons why that's a conservative prediction and there's reasons why it could be a liberal prediction. But in general, that's the, that's the prediction is no more forest in the southwest approximately by 2050. We also in this paper looked at the global predictions and they were fairly consistent with those for the southwest for conifers in the northern hemisphere with major losses of forests throughout the temperate zone uh, in the next 80 years. Thank <music> you.